here at Bistro Reunion with Mike, one of the owners. And Mike, this building is absolutely incredible. Built in the 1800s? Yeah, 1860 actually. Wow. So it's got a lot of history in here. I it's, love uh, the character. Yeah, it's really cool. We love this building. I mean, stepping into this building gives us this opportunity to show off the history and show off our food and everything that we're about. Yeah. Uh, so yes, we're Bistro Reunion now. That's and cool. Yeah, it's, so what we're doing, we're doing French inspired cuisine. Amazing. Yeah, so from around the world. So this, uh, this painting right here is actually uh, a palace hotel in Saigon. Mm. So that, that's where the, the French influence come from, comes from, as okay. uh, Vietnam was influenced uh, by France a long time ago. And some of the cuisine has been fused. And uh, we're showcasing some of that with uh, pork belly balmy, for example, yeah. and different sort of mm. Asian cuisines that we do, Delicious. as well as French cuisine. Wow, and I love the way that you guys have uh, decorated the space. I mean, the space has so much character in itself, but to come in here, it is such a warm, relaxing environment. Yeah, well, we're trying to bring like a sort of French bistro atmosphere. Yeah, I love it. Right, from Europe, and that's what we're trying to do with the bar and the whole feel of the place. And this is, uh, well, we got over here, La Parisienne. This is where we came from, our original yeah, restaurant great. that yeah. we moved from Oakville. Uh, oh, I love that. And then there's even a picture of our family right over here. Oh, and, that's so great. And also the Island of Reunion. So this is, this is we named this restaurant after the Island of Reunion. So the Island of Reunion is in the middle of uh, the Indian Ocean. So kind of like over here, we're yep. in the middle of nowhere, yet in the middle of <laughs> but everything. Yeah, I was gonna say right? you're not, because Morriston is kind of central for people in Guelph. Hamilton, Oakville, Milton, everybody can kind of meet here. You can meet your friends. And that's what we call the reunion. That's the reunion. At the reunion. Okay, this is such a cool, awesome so thing. This, this is easy. This How is many a places have a speakeasy? Yes, so this is, kind of, <laughs> this is not quite finished. We're about 75% done, but this is a speakeasy. We're, we're going to be doing uh, special events down here. There's going to be music nights, comedy nights. Uh, small wed weddings, corporate events, you name it. I love it. And uh, this is actually a photo this of so when cool. the building started back in 1860. It was in General Merchants. So they had to take care of this whole area. Wow. So That's lots remarkable. of history. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love that. Like some of the stuff that you must have found during the construction. Tons. tons. I know you mentioned to me earlier when we were kind of doing our pre walkthrough, the ceiling in this room was covered by a drop ceiling. The beams of those trees were the, probably, what, 100-year-old trees? Oh, yeah, Easily. apparently those trees uh, that are there are no longer here, they're extinct. So wow. it's really cool that we're able to uncover that. Yeah, And I then there's the also character. a metal door upstairs that uh, takes you to the other side that we uncovered as well. So lots of cool things. Oh my gosh. Love like, old buildings. To come here just to see the coolness of the old building, plus get a delicious dinner and spend time with with friends and family and get together and you know have a reunion this exactly. is such a cool spot okay coming up we're going to take you into the kitchen we might do a little bit of cooking so much more with that coming up on morning live back at bistro reunion in the kitchen now we're in morriston this is a brand new spot for them they had a place in oakville but they've now moved here and this place is so great the location so close to the 401 you can come from anywhere so you can meet friends that live in kitchener cambridge guelph you can meet friends from Hamilton, Oakville, Burlington. You're kind of really central. Courtney and I are hanging out in the kitchen. She's put an apron on me, so that means I'm going to help out with the cooking. I'm not actually <laughs> going to do the cooking, because let's not go crazy, but I'm going to help out. Tell me a little bit about the menu, what you guys serve here, and what are we making? OK, so the menu, uh, we've taken some of our absolute favorites from La Parisienne. Uh, we've brought them over with us. So we're going to make one of those favorites today okay. and a couple of other things. Um, and then we've also just taken influence from all over the world. So French inspired cuisine, uh, but with any sort of influence. We've got a little bit of Creole, we've got a little Southeast Asian, mm -hmm. uh, but this is the French onion soup. Mm. This is our, one of our most popular things. People will drive for miles for it. Wow. It's um, something that has been in the family for many years. Oh, so this is an old family recipe. Yes. Oh, yes. that is so the best. So this is Mike's mom and dad. When they first started LP, this was... This is on their menu. This was on their menu. French onion soup is my favorite soup to eat and order. Wow. Hands down. 
Wait till we do this Wait till one. I try it? Okay. okay. What do I do first? So first of all, we've already done the soup part, obviously. Yep. So it's a beef based broth full of all sorts of delicious herbs mm. and spices. It smells. So, if only the viewers could smell how good it smells. <laughs> I'm going to give you three bits. Okay. I'm going to have three bits. Okay. We're just going to place them in. All right. I'm going to just try not to sink anything. Okay. Ooh, oh, 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 no. Oh. I sunk the edge. It. That's okay. I'm going to give you a little bit, and then we're okay. going to fill in the negative space of just these little bits. Okay. Tear off these little bits. And there's so many different ways to do French onion Absolutely. soup. Absolutely. There but... is. There's like a lot of... A lot of people do it with like a chicken base, with yeah. more of like a white wine flavor, but this is more or like of a rich sort of beef. So we're gonna take our cheese. Okay, this is the best part. And we're gonna be very generous. Very generous about cheese. Mm, da -da -da. All about the cheese. And you guys do lunch, dinner? We do. So we are open for lunch at 11.30, uh, Wednesday through to Friday. And then we stay open for dinner all the way through to like 9, 10 o'clock. Okay. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we are open at 10 a.m. for brunch. And the downstairs, the speakeasy, same hours? At the moment, well, it's not open. Um, at, we will see. I was we gonna say, because you know, people like we to stay see. late if they're in a speakeasy, yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's still a work in progress. We're still figuring out exactly. Take yours. We're gonna pop her in the cheese Cheers. melter. <gasps> Go pop her in, burn yourself. Beautiful. And that's oh going to go in there gosh. for about three minutes. Okay. And <gasps> that's going to be the magic of television. Oh, and how delicious does that look? That's our delicious French onion. Okay, we're going to make another family yeah. recipe. And this one comes from your family. It does. In this Australia. One is from Australia. I've just got to grab it. Chef, can you pass that over to me? That plate over there. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, this is Nana Faye's path, making All right. its debut on television. She's All right, we got to do it quick because okay, okay, we're running okay. out of time. Okay, we're going to do this quick. We can do it together. Okay. All right. You get ready with the cream. Okay. I'm just going to give her a quick little torch. How much cream? Be generous. Be generous. Whoa. All right. <laughs> try to get it in the middle. Oh, it's supposed to be in the middle. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Beautiful. It smells incredible. Gonna, like, this Let's get that okay, on coming there. up while Courtney is finishing this off, we are going to be spending more time in the kitchen because the kitchen is where it's happening. Here at Bistro yeah. Reunion, lots more coming up on Morning Live. <gasps> Back in the kitchen with Courtney. She's letting me do some more cooking. Right now, I am making one of your feature items, not on the menu always but really yes. popular right it's been really popular yeah okay. so this is our pork belly balmy that you're making okay uh so the balmy uh, is originates through uh vietnamese cuisine okay. uh, it sort of came about when the french were there so you're putting all sorts of delicious fresh ingredients on like a french style bread so we're starting with the avocado all on one side that's it you mm -hmm. got this okay and then veggies on the other yep stuff the middle with your salad oh right the middle this is my salad right and those are your pickles but that's okay you oh get no it in there. You just Luke's, pop it Luke's in. pushing me out of the way he's like get out of the way you're in the shot i need to see the food all right i got some of these pickles on this side okay here we go Beautiful. oh want some of these yes yes, yes. lovely see this is why right. i'm not a chef <laughs> You're like, hey, 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 oh boy. Grab your pork belly. Oh, uh, pork belly is so good. Yes, yeah, so this is cooked low and slow and then tossed in a spicy style barbecue sauce that we make in house. Yeah, everything is super fresh back here. I love that. Everything's made right here. Yes, we do basically everything from scratch back here. We do a lot of pickling. We do a lot of braising, a lot of slow cooking, and we have a lot of fun with it. I bet. Yeah, go on, be generous. All, All right. right, and then we're gonna skewer it. Skew so it doesn't fall out, right? That's right. Smart. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's how am I messy, gonna fit this in my mouth? That's, yeah, it's probably a bit more than we needed, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, ah! no! oh no! Oh <laughs> no! That's okay. I'm this, here. This is I'm why here. I am not a chef, right, right. here. This is the reason. One. And all right. Mm. All right. Cut her down the middle. Oh, yes. 
That looks amazing. I love how fresh everything is too. It's not. Ooh, wait, what's this for? Cilantro, a little parchy goes on top. It goes on top. I love that. And we got this guy's over here. So yeah, it's kind of like a breakfast balmy, if you like. Okay. And then. Pop that little parchy right in the middle of the two. Wow. And then we're gonna finish it off with some crispy onion. Now, what's this over here? You were telling me about that. What is that? This is actually crisp oil. So we make that in house. Um, it is like shallots, chilies. Uh, it's just divine. We put it on literally anything we can. <laughs> I put it on everything. Uh, so if anyone comes in and orders this, I recommend you just take that and you pour it and all And you just over. go. You, you just, just go for it. it. It's not too spicy. It's just full of flavor. It's so oh good. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You did really well. Thank you. Yay. All right. Well, we're having so much fun here at Bistro Reunion. We have more coming up. We're going to showcase more dishes, believe it or not. Well, I gotta say, this is the hardest part of the gig right here, Courtney. I can imagine. Where I have to try <laughs> all of the beautiful things that we have made that you want to showcase on your menu here at Bistro Union in Morriston. Now, go through kind of what I should be trying, and I understand that we are pairing it with what's best to maybe drink on the menu as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So this one here is one that we've developed just for our Valentine's menu. Love it. As you can see, it's in the shape of a heart. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> and it's made out of beets. So, you oh. know, beating heart. It's a vegan beet tartare. Um, you're gonna got shallots, chives. This is a cauliflower cream on the bottom. But yeah, mm. everything is 100% vegan in that dish. No dairy. It's delicious. It's so good. It is a little delicious. crostini, got a few little pickles in there. So fresh. Um, and that one, I would recommend trying that one with the cider, actually. Mm, okay. So that one is, uh, yeah, this guy here. Okay. So you're going to give that one a little taste. Mm, I love the pickle. It almost has like a, what am I tasting? Probably a little coriander. That's it. I was just about yeah, to say. Yeah, coriander, coriander seed. Mm -hmm. um, so that cider there is for West Avenue Cider. It is a cab serve with hair, so it's really light, mm. quite dry. And this is local. This is local. They're mm -hmm. just down the road. It's amazing. Yeah, they're so right tasty. down the road from us. Mm -hmm. uh, we love everything they do there, so we try to use their product wherever we can. Yeah. Uh, now, we made the onion soup in the kitchen. Oh, yes. You've got to dig in and have a little taste of that one. This is my favorite thing. A French onion soup is something that I always love to order, but you know, you, sometimes you never know what you're going to get. And I you love- You can't go wrong here. We also do a mini size. So oh. the best part is that if you want to have a soup as well as try something else on the menu, you're right. not stuck with like a huge soup. You can have a little your, one. This is your whole meal right here. It is. It's a lot of cheese, a lot of bread, a lot of deliciousness. I hope it's not too hot. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. The napkin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, and it's not, the cheese isn't too overpowering. No, it's you not. You really taste the onion, you really taste the spices. All the oils have dripped in through the cheese. Mm -hmm. And what am I having this one with? I would have a sip of our rosé. Okay. So that one there is the Le Gemel Cinso. Again, it's rosé all year round. You don't need to have rosé in the summer. You can mm. have it all the time. Rosé all day. Rosé all day. Rosé all day. This is interesting. What's this? Okay, this is our Creole. So this is our crepe gratiné. It is a seafood baked crepe. Um, you might need a knife to get in there. Yeah, I'll give you a little yeah, help hand. Me. Help me. I'll give you a little hand. Mm. So mm. you've got scallops, shrimps, mushrooms, a Creole cream, bechamel sauce, mm. all wrapped up in a crepe, uh, topped with cheese, baked in the oven. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That it's, is so good. This one's come with us from La Parisienne. It's received a little upgrade and mm -hmm. um, it's just divine. And I love how everything's kind of based on French cuisine with lots of different flair from everywhere else around the world. That's the plan, right? Mm -hmm. I love that. And what is um, my one here? All right, you gotta try the pavs. Not a face pavlova. Well, because we're running the pavlova, pavlova, it's like a meringue. But don't forget, this is the one that I made in the kitchen, the pork oh, belly yeah. sandwich, which we're also going to be eating, but I know it's gonna be good and we probably just don't have time to get to it. I'm gonna give you that one. Mm, a meringue. There. So it's like, a, it's hard on the outside, mm. like chewy marshmallow on the inside. And this is your Nana's recipe. Yes, Nana Faye's. Oh, Nana Faye, getting a big <laughs> shout out, Nana shout Faye. Shout out, Nana Faye. Don't tell the rest of the Nanas. Oh, should get the rest of the crew out here. Oh yeah, come on and out, everybody. Come on out. Mm. 
uh, just everyone that had a large part in making everything here today mm -hmm. and, and in getting us open out here. I've got my sister. And there's an entire family. Oh, yeah. I love this. Hi, family. <laughs> everybody say hi to everybody on Morning Live. Hi. 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 Thanks so much for having us. Awesome. I tell you Thank what. Thank you. I have the hardest job in the business right here. Oh, dig in. Dig right? in. Oh,